In this video, I'm going to show you how to get more restored coffer keys to get more chances of loot. If we go ahead and we check our currency tab over here, you can see I currently only have one restored coffer key. Now, there are three ways that you can get restored coffer keys in this game right now. Restored coffer keys are used to open up the purple epic chest at the end of Bountiful Delves. Bountiful Delves look like this on your map, and you'll get one per region in the War Within every single day. You can see one in the Isle of Dorne, one in the Ringing Deeps, one in the Hellafall, and one in Ajkahet. Now, every single week, you will be getting a quest in every major region, a, a weekly quest, and this quest will always award you a restored coffer key. So you will be getting four keys guaranteed every single week. One from the Isle of Dorne at Dornagal, one from Gundargaz at the Ringing Deeps, one from doing the Spreading the Light weekly quest at Hellofall, and lastly, one from completing the Forge a Pact quest from Ajkahet. The second way to get coffer keys is by getting shards. These over here are coffer key shards. Every time you get to 100 of these, you can turn it into a key. Right now I have 83. There are two ways that you can get these shards. The first way is by checking your world quests every day to see if any of them award coffer key fragments. Usually they offer around like 20 to like 30 fragments per world quest but don't expect to see them too often. Another way to get these fragments is by doing the world soul memories. So if I go ahead here and I go to the Ringing Deeps, you'll see in this day, we have the world soul memory up here, and we also have another one down here. Now these can only be activated with Radiant Echoes, which is the reward from opening up that purple chest inside of Bountiful Delves. Now, ideally you're gonna to wanna to have at least five Radiant Echoes. And it's going to be an item that you're going to have to keep in your inventory, so don't delete it. And the way you get these Radiant Echoes is by doing a delve, a bountiful delve, and opening up the purple chest at the end, which does require a restored coffer key. Luckily, I have one left. You'll see at the end of the delve, when you open up the bountiful coffer, you will get a Radiant Echo. Of course, you'll be trying to do this in tier 8 delve so that you can always get a item level 603 champion piece of gear, which is a perfect way to get yourself a full set of champion's gear. Once you have at least five Radiant Echoes, I recommend you go to the World Soul Memory event. Now, this will only show up on your map once you have one of these Echoes in your inventory. I also recommend you do one of these in each of the four zones of the game. This is because doing one in each zone will give you a special item, which I'll show you soon. When you get to this location, you will see there is a World Soul Memory, and you do get to interact with it. Now you'll see here, you do get three options. The last one is currently locked. It's not available yet. And you're always able to do just one Radiant Echo, but it just saves you time by doing five instead. By consuming five, you will get five times the reward, five times the normal amount of coffer key shards, which should give you an extra key or two, depending on how many you currently have. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this out and we have to build up a score by killing these types of enemies. The more of these, you know, like timeless enemies that you kill, the higher your score is going to be. You'll also notice that as time goes by, rare enemies will spawn and these will award you more currency for your world score. Do note that when you are in here, you are on a timer and you have to kill things as quickly as possible and as many of them as possible. Eventually time will run out and you will be awarded currency in the form of Valor Stones. You can see I got 269 and Coffer Key Shards I got 144, which actually puts me at over 200, which means I can get two extra keys, which means I can open up two extra chests. And that means I can get two extra Radiant Echoes, which will give me five again, which lets me do another World Soul event. And that's how this kind of like cycles and gives you more keys as the days go on in the week. You will also get an item that you can sell on the auction house for other people to use. Apparently, I don't know if people are buying this, but you can see here it says it sells for 30,000 gold. But if you go ahead and you use this, this should give you an achievement called Fragments of Memories for using one in each zone by doing one of these events in each zone. And this will give you a toy that releases a memory of yourself, which I guess looks like this. Basically just a memory of myself. That's exactly how I remember myself. You're also able to purchase a few restored coffer keys. Right now, I don't have access to it, but this vendor is located right over here on my map in Dornigal. 
So if you make your way to this location and you speak to the Mermurgle over here, <laughs> Sir Finley, the one on the barrel, you'll see that he sells restored coffer keys for 2,000 undercoin. These are currency that you earn by opening up the blue chests within delves, which means that you can farm them from any delve. It doesn't have to be bountiful. Right now I have 6,000 of this currency, but I'm unable to purchase these because they are, as you can see, locked right now. And this, I believe, is linked to the Delver's Journey, which is your seasonal progress for Delves. And I think you unlock it right over here at the, the eighth notch, if I can count correctly, when you'll finally be able to purchase restored coffer keys from Sir Finley. I don't know if you can buy three per week based on his three in his store, or if it's like you buy three and then you can never buy again. And that's how you can get yourself some more restored coffer keys in the game in case you didn't know. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.